Hi everyone. We've still got this hire car and I've still got a little bit of fuel left. So I thought I'd do a video on automatic full beam headlights. It's not something that's particularly new on me. Um, my Mrs's M3 has got the same function, although my car hasn't, but I very rarely use it. So we're going to have a little look at this today. I've not even tried this out on this Volvo. It's an XC60. Uh, it's a cracking thing, to be honest. Um, it's got loads of safety kit, gear and safety equipment on it. Um, and I've really enjoyed the time in it. But like I said, we're going to use this uh, extra little bit of fuel that we've got. And uh, we're going to go and have a little look at these full beam headlights, the automatic full beam headlights. Um, I'm going to just show you this. You can see up on the top, it's got the automatic symbol of the headlight with the A on it. Um, and you do just turn it off and on just by this switch here. Um, you give this a little twist and it goes to normal. And you give it a little twist again and it goes back to automatic. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get driving. I'm gonna turn this light off um, so we can see what's going on. Um, and then I think I'll just leave the other one on so you can see me a little bit better. Yeah, that's about right. It's not off putting for me. Um, no problem with that. And we're going to get driving. It might take us a little while to find a country road um, and some vehicles coming the other way, but I'm just going to leave it rolling. So what I'm suspecting that the automatic full beams will do is that they should come on automatically pretty obvious but when it sees street lamps we've got street lamps on at the minute um, it's not got full beams on and i'm suspecting if i had anything to do with working out how these systems work that's what i would do if i'd spot any lights um, street lamps any other cars whether it be uh, red lights with cars that are in front of me traveling in the same direction as me or any vehicles coming the other way there's no need to have full beams on so um, i'm suspecting it's going to work in that particular way but like i said i've not even tried it on this car so i've got no idea on how it's going to work i've got Probably two or three minutes until I get out to a country road. So uh, we'll pick it up when, uh, when we can. So we're getting a little closer. We've only got maybe a minute or so before we're on an unlit road. It doesn't necessarily have to be a national speed limit road. There's an unlit road a little bit further up. And I'll be interested to see just how quickly it detects any other vehicles, whether it be coming the other way or I catch people up or even if they overtake me um, be really interested to see how it is going to work now what I'm going to do we are following a vehicle that's going the same road as I'm going to take so I'm just going to take loads of time just so it can't see the vehicle the other direction or the one that we're following, sorry, I just saw one come the other direction that we're gonna to have to deal with. But this little section has got a few street lamps, but then a little further up, they go off. So we're gonna have a little look. So I'm doing 17 miles an hour, just so that other car gets away. Now the street lamps have finished. What are the lights gonna do? Are they gonna turn on? Not at the minute. Now they have. Excellent, absolutely perfect. This car's also got um, adaptive headlights that turn the way the steering wheel goes as well, so they're really good. So they came on perfectly at that perfect time. Um, just hopefully we do get some things the other direction that then it decides to turn them off. Whether you can make out the lights turning with my steering wheel turning as well. Um, I'm going to go a little slower here and just see whether I can demonstrate that. So there's no one around, but if I turn, it actually didn't work. It must only be. The dipped headlights that do the same. We've got a light that's come on on this front corner. 
I have to excuse the experiment. Like I said, I've not even tried this uh, on this car, so I'm just figuring out on how it works. But the normal dipped headlights do turn with the way that the steering wheel turns, which is useful. I've seen that before on um, the Range Rover that we had, but I've, um, I've not really um, had it on any other vehicles. I'm trying to think, does my BMW do the same thing? You know what, I haven't even noticed. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna get a vehicle coming the other way. Now, there are a few street lamps on this next road. Is it gonna recognize this and turn the full beams off? Yes, it has. So that's a thumbs up, brilliant. So it recognizes when there's no street lamps, it also recognizes when there are street lamps and uses them accordingly. All we've really got to find out now is whether or not that it's gonna work when there are vehicles coming the other way. So we've got a little bridge here. What's the time? In fact, um, I was gonna say use my horn, but I'm not gonna use the horn because we've got a jogger coming the other way. There's a car coming also. A nice flash of the lights by the car coming the other way. I'm gonna tuck it into this side. There's a nice space opposite. Well done, Audi driver, using your uh, flashing the lights for the uh, correct use. You may have just seen my lights turn there um, as I turned the wheel on the bridge. Hopefully you've been able to pick up on that and how the dipped headlights actually turn. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of dry steering here as I do this, uh, this left turn. You can see the headlamps uh, start to come back when I straighten the wheel. It wasn't as obvious there. The bridge was probably a better example. So do the street lamps finish again? No, but there is another little section that I can go with a little touch further up that, uh, that we should be able to get the full beams back on again. I'm still waiting on a car coming in the opposite direction. So again, the full beams haven't been on. This next road, there's no street lamps. So, do these straight away come on? Yeah, they're pretty good. Fair play to them. Come on, we need a car coming the other way. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll find one. But I haven't touched the full beam stalk here on this left hand side whatsoever. So shows you what they're like. Now, I would turn them off now because of this car. What did it do? It did turn them off. It recognised that there was a vehicle coming from that side and turned them off. Impressive. Not sure whether that's the same in most cars nowadays, but um, that was pretty good. No, it's not stuck them on yet. There's no one around. This car in front's going pretty slow. Now I'm going to try and con it into thinking, oh, it's put them on. But it's got the clever lights. It put the lights on to the left-hand side here, even though there's a pedestrian. What does it do with the pedestrian? It didn't recognise the pedestrian. It maybe blinded the pedestrian a little bit, and the lights flipped back now that other car's gone. So it's one of the clever systems that operates the lights either side, as you can see here, of the vehicle in front. So we've got nice full beams to the left, nice full beams to the right, but it's not dazzling the car in front. Now that's exactly the same system that's on my missus's M3, and I've been impressed with that on how well it works, but this Volvo's at least as good. Top draw. I wonder what it'll do with this corner. Yeah, it shut off the one this side. and it's turned them off altogether because we must be too close to this one in front. Have you had any experience of automatic full beams? Um, I'm not sure what this car's in front doing. It doesn't seem as though it can see very well. Is it all iced up and continuing to drive? 
looks as though it is. Um, listen, people, I'm sure I don't have to tell a lot of my viewers this, but make sure your car's fully demisted before you start your journey. Make sure it's warm, make sure all the windows are all clear, the mirrors are all clear, the lights are all clear, and you're ready to go, because this one I don't think can see. We're going back to my lights, yeah, let's just put full beams on either side again, because there's no street lamps. Just showing a little bit of caution. There you go. It turned that one off because the car came in. Does it turn the one on the left off? Yes. I tell you what, brilliant Volvo. Well impressed with your systems. Well, we've got enough time to come out here. What's it going to do the full beams? Yep, yeah, straight on, all of it. Superb. So, to summarise, I think, um, excellent. Absolutely brilliant bit of tech. The cars are getting better and better nowadays um, and I've not had to use this switch all the way through straight off when you see the car come the other way again perfect little uh, finishing point that so automatic headlights brilliant superb Volvo brilliant would I have a Volvo actually the last two weeks that I've spent this with this car has said to me yeah, I probably would. So, not changing the BMW yet, but I have enjoyed my time in this. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope that's useful. Let us know your experiences of automatic headlights, if you've got them on your car, or in fact, if you think from watching this video, it could be something that you would spec on a future car. I know it's usually the higher end stuff, but all this tech is gonna eventually come down to the, uh, the mainstream cars as well. So let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, see you soon.